Greetings. Welcome. So we're going to do an a integral example involving e to the x. It's good to do um, a lot of these examples. So we have, in particular, this one is going to use a little bit um, of the properties that, you know, we kind of learn about these. So we have the integral of e to the x over 1 plus 2 e to the x dx. Okay. And so this should look like, it might be hard to see this, but this is an example where we have something on the bottom and its derivative or close to its derivative is on the top. So we're going to have the bottom is actually going to be our, um, so this is going to be my u. So I'm going to have the u is going to equal. So I have 1 plus 2 e to the x. And then I want to need to find my du. Maybe I'll just do all this in orange here. So my du is going to equal, so I need to take the derivative of this with respect to x, which is just 2e to the x dx. All right, I just took the derivative of that with respect to x. And then continuing on, right, I want to solve for dx, so I get du over 2e to the x equals dx. And then I can go ahead and substitute all of that in here, so that I'm going to get, oops, wrong color that this is going to equal the integral of, and usually the derivative part, we leave that because it's going to kind of cancel. So we get e to the x, and then we have our u, so this is our u. And then from over here, we have du divided by 2e to the x. Right, and then, so it looks like not quite everything's in terms of e to the x yet, but we're okay because this e to the x and this e to the x are going to cancel. And I'm going to be able to get out 1 half times the integral of 1 over u du. Okay. Now I have an integral that's entirely in terms of u. And so I can go ahead and integrate. But we have to remember because we don't have bounds, and our original integrals in terms of x, we do need to put it back in terms of x at the end. Okay, so let's just go ahead and integrate this. So this is going to equal 1 half times the natural log of the absolute value of u plus c. Okay, but we have this u here, so we're going to need to use it from over there. This is going to equal 1 half times the natural log of, and then we go ahead and put that in. So it's going to be 1 plus 2e to the x. Plus c. But we notice we don't actually need these absolute values because this is actually greater than 0. So this is greater than 0 for all x. So don't need the absolute values. Right? So I could just go ahead and write this as 1 half times the natural log of 1 plus 2 e to the x plus c. Okay. And I'm happy because this was in terms of x. This is in terms of x. I don't have bounds, so I did actually need to switch back. Okay, and in the end, my answer is that the integral of e to the x over 1 plus 2 e to the x dx is going to equal 1 half times the natural log of 1 plus 2e to the x plus c. And again, we were able to get rid of the absolute values just because this is always positive. And the other tricky thing being that we did have to switch back to be in terms of x because we didn't have bounds. Okay? And our original integral was in terms of x. Okay. So, I hope that that made some sense. And I will see you in the next, le next lecture.